work of um, Alice Kettle and have a conversation with her about her textiles art. Um, Alice, just to start with, you have an amazing textiles piece in front of you. Can you tell us something about the creation of this particular piece of work? Well, this one um, was based on a painting by Nicolas Poussin, which is called The Dance to the Music of Time. Um, and in a way, I used it as a vehicle to sum up a lot of my interests in, 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 in my work, which are about the kind of cyclical nature of work, the fact that you recycle and revisit ideas you've had in the past. So thematically, this was about uh, this group of dancing figures, which in the painting are the four seasons. And I realized that my three daughters and myself were the four seasons because we have birthdays mm -hmm. in different seasons and I'm one of three girls, three, three, three sisters. Mm -hmm. So it felt like um, the kind of revisiting of the generations mm -hmm. um, and implicit in that was a lot of the kind of legacy of what I used to, of making that I used to do with my mother. So. Um, in the original Poussin painting, there's Aurora sprinkling down petals from the sky. So I have the leaves and you know, little fragments of textile, which are fragments from the dresses that my mother used to make for us as children. Mm. So in a way, what I was trying to, to <clears throat> articulate was something about uh, the legacy of of artistic practice, I suppose, mm. which is very much rooted in textiles for me, and I think probably emerged from the, the, the you know the, that time when my mother was always making and stitching, mm. and of course stitch has has become my medium. Um, this is all made through the machine stitch. Um, it's a free machine stitch whereby the line of thread is like, like a drawn line, mm. so you're building up colour through using a combination of different threads mm. and the relationship be between the, the under thread and the top thread or, or several together and it's very much about the kind of rhythmic nature of that mm. process mm. which again the, the painting mm. was a, a, a good vehicle because mm. it was about this kind of heartbeat, the repetitive rhythm of time, which is is continuous mm. and um, constant. And I call this piece pause because in a way we want to stop time, we want to ha capture a moment where mm. time stands still, but which is impossible. Yeah. And the process I use is that kind of rhythmic mechanical mm. process, mm. but it's very fluid within it. Mm. So it's got that kind of rhythmic and fluid, the, the kind of relationship between the two, which again I think is very much um, held within how I work. Right. Well, I went to um, Reading University, and it was uh, in the late 70s, 80s, and I became part of the colour studio because colour has always been my my mm. thing, the, the kind of driving force, the way colour can be an expre the expressive potential of colour. And I think it was a period where we explored the kind of physical nature of paint, so the very gestural mm. quality yeah. of mark making and the layering of mm. um, different, di different kind of resonances of colour but mm. also qualities of paint, the fluid and the much more mm. sort of thick enriched surface and so I think all of those are continuing and constant as, as, as interest but I became interested in figurative and subject yes. matter mm. latterly and I think I think it is this idea of having been um, textiles and making having been very present in my in my home life yes I went to goldsmiths and I did a postgraduate in textile art but it was very much using the lessons or the kind of methods that I had I, I, I'd kind of become my handprint through painting mm. and, and translating mm. those into or finding a way of translating this because mm. of course they are different but I think it's very much about gestural line but the yes. gestural thread <coughs> line 
So of course you can't check, and I remember them saying, you know, think about the different um, scales of mark you're making, the different yeah. tools you're using, and I'm trying to kind of translate that into this this different yes. material. But it's again, it's about fluid mm. colour. It's about yes. um, imagery. It's about layering. But with with thread, you have the different qualities of surface. So you have the different um, qualities of glossy and matte yeah. and metallic, so yeah. it's about the light quality, so you can go into the surface with the threads yeah. because you're, you're, um, they are resonating with light in different ways, so a lot of it is playing with those yeah. aspects, which I suppose I hadn't really explored with paint, and I think it, mm. you, you, you can do that with paint, but it's a different, mm. there's a different nature to yeah. it with thread. So I'm trying to float a lot of matte threads onto glossy ones, so mm. that you have this kind of depth of surface. Yes. A lot of the, the, so for example here, uh, this this figure here, it's all um, a really shiny kind of translucent kind of thick thread, yes. um, which where I've changed the the matte cotton that's gone with it. To just change the way the direct it's all about direction and it's all about the relationship between those two threads mm. so it changes the color of the, the it's the same thread throughout pretty much but <coughs> but the the thread of the, the, the soft cotton i put with it changes mm. so it's a bit like surah it's about that you know, those kind of putting colors mm. together and they mm. kind of resonate together mm. a lot of i suppose the main difference is the, the length of time Yes. It's a very, very slow process yes. as opposed to painting. Um, yes, I like, and again, I think that comes from painting. Yes. We were looking about at a lot of abstract expressionist work, mm. um, which are primarily large in scale because they're, they're about physicality. Mm. And so, I think again, I hold that that that, mm. that you know those mm. lessons within the current work. I want to do something that's about yes. scale. And I think mm. it makes you think of stitch in a different way. Yes. It becomes much less about technique and more about the kind of qualities that the material can can mm. can can, can Im imply, and also this uh, this idea of rhythm across the surface. You have yes. this kind of shift and movement across the surface. The starting point for me was using uh, finding a, a, a way of using thread that really was about how I paint it. So it's about this mm. kind of building up of mark making and gesture. Um, and so it's very much been about a, really a very simple idea about the kind of quality mm. of line and the relationship with another line and the kind of scale of line, so the scale of thread. So a lot of this work is done upside down from the back <laughs> because you can't fit a thick thread through the needle so you have to do it blind. So a lot mm. of my work is very is done in, you know, without seeing what you're doing. <laughs> it's a very kind of random yes. way of working, which again I think is the confidence of that has come through from the painting about yes. the, pulling a composition yes. together. And if you imagine a machine, you've only got a very small space to yes. physically get this large canvas through. Yes. So again, it's a it's a very blind process, a very mm. very kind mm. of risky process. But I quite like that. Mm. Um, and um, so that has been the kind of key uh, method of working. But then I've tried to expand the range of working through. Um, I I I start I started working at Manchester Metropolitan University and that was very much about kind of developing the nature of this field, you know, looking at the, the kind of research of exploring the expressive line. So I started working with various other machines um, and in Manchester they have, which we can't use anymore because it's such an old machine, but this Shifley machine which has 84 needles um, and it's about a kind of repeat, so each needle does the same mark and it's it's a mechanical machine which is based on a pantograph system so you move a handle mm. around and eat and every time you push a button around your design each of the 84 needles will stitch this the same mark it's quite incredible yes <laughs> and so i've tried to use i've tried to try to defy the repeat and use it as again this mm. kind of expressive line mm. and it's a it's a machine i won't be able to use again so mm. 
it's been a really interesting way of opening mm. up the background and thinking about the quality of this sort of mm. singular line.